In this video, we'll show you how you can define all the WAN connections, trace IP addresses, log into any box and configure templates by using a single dashboard called the Cisco vManage. We'll do so by using the integrated Network Kings Internet Access to simplify SD-WAN transformation to the cloud and protect users and applications everywhere. First, let's see how Cisco SD-WAN with vManage can automatically provide fully redundant IPsec tunnels to the nearest networking's public service edge in the networking's cloud. In this case, for each of the internet service providers, a pair of primary and secondary tunnels are automatically configured. This is vManage. It is used to automate the deployment configuration and management of Cisco SD-WAN environments. It allows this by using templating that can be applied to devices based on your own designated role or grouping. We have three control plane devices that are available on the dashboard of vManage. One is vManage, the others are vBond and vSmart. The green arrows show that these devices are working. All the routers that are connected to various sites are visible on the SD-WAN. These are the SD-WAN edge routers. This is how the SD-WAN fabric looks like. You can visualize everything on the dashboard. Now you have complete info about data and control plane. Your switch fabric is your full WAN connectivity. All the connections to the WAN are defined here. You can click on it and check whether sites are reachable or not. As you can see here that all the sites are reachable via the WAN connectivity. If you want to check in detail about these circuits, such as how they are going to connect, you can also check that. From the transport interface distribution, you can check the interface utilization of each circuit. You can also check any kind of stop signature URL filtering. Suppose if you are just clicking on the VH router and you want to verify the transport behavior while connecting to different sites over a circuit. Suppose you are the VH3 router with two transports, the internet and the MPLS. You can also check that from the GUI perspective. Then you select the VH3 and you click on the real time. Now you can see all interface related behavior. Here you can see that you have two circuits. Once the circuit is connected over G0 by 3 and G0 by 4, you can select the circuits which are in use, that is, G0 by 3 here. Here you can see in real time how much traffic this transport is transmitting and receiving. You can see all the info here on a geographical basis. You can also customize it from a specific time such as last 7 days, last 7 hours, last 12 hours, 1 hour or even real time as well. So vManage is a very flexible tool. From here you can also check the van throughput top tuckers availability as well. You can also do a lot of troubleshooting here. You can ping or trace as well. Let's suppose you want to trace the IP address that is 10.4.15.1. Then you go to the troubleshooting and you click on trace route. Then you enter the destination IP, use VPN 0 and choose the source interface and then you select the G0 by 3 box. As you can see, there is no reachability as of yet, but you can definitely check out using this method. It is also possible to simulate any traffic flow happening from any source or destination. So as you can see, there is no routing, hence there is no reachability. Now let's suppose you want to log into any box. So if you do not want to log in into these boxes manually, you can log into these boxes by vManage itself. You just have to go to the tools and then select the SSH terminal and then select the VS device that you want to log in. You can also get the CLI access as well if you want to. Now you have to put the admin again. So this is how you do not need to log in in each device individually anymore. Therefore, it is a very powerful tool. In addition to that, you can also do any configuration of the devices like template or policy. By using the device or feature template, you can do various configurations of the SD-WAN fabric. As you can see, we have almost created 36 templates altogether in this lab. 
These templates offer different features, such as for OSPF, BGP, Internet, MPLS, or VPN0. All these created templates can be pushed to the devices. So the real configuration in the SD-WAN fabric happens via the templates. You must know how templates can be configured in terms of the device and feature template. So these are the different device templates we have configured that are attached to different devices.